Hey guys, Wicked Beef Crew here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to build a Skeleton Spotter XP farm. So first you're going to have to locate your Skeleton Spotter. I already know the coordinates for mine and I'll be back when I get there. Hey guys, when, once you find your Skeleton Spotter, you're going to disable it or turn your game to peaceful mode. I prefer peaceful mode, but I'm just going to light it up anyway. You're going to take the loot from the loot chest. And right now you're going to want to make a 9x9x5 nine by nine by room centered around this skeleton spawner. So that would be 4 out from the spawner in each of the lateral directions. And that would also be 2 blocks above the spawner along with 2 blocks below the spawner. And I'll get back to it when it's done. Okay guys, you have, if you have your 9x9x9 nine by nine by room, 9x9x5 nine nine by by room, let's count it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now you're going to want to put two blocks on top of the spawner. Because when they start spawning, you don't want them to fall on, to spawn on top of the spawner. Or else they will not be able to get down unless they're unless they just by chance walk off or get pushed off. Now you're gonna want to get your water buckets. You you might want to have a an infinite water source nearby. You're gonna want to get some signs, and there you go. You're gonna need your pickaxe for this part as well. So now since it's nine by nine, you're gonna put the water on one of the sides of your room. I'm choosing this side right now, and it'll almost make it to the end. Now you're going to dig down two over here, all the way across. And you're going to put water on this side. Where it, stop, where it stops, you're going to dig down one block and then another block. Go over two, three, maybe. And then you're going to, and then you're going to have to dig up and make a tube that is quite a bit high. From this point right here, it's going to be it's going to be at least 24 blocks. So here we go. Okay, this is definitely definitely at least 20. And now we're going to make now we're going to fill it up with water and signs alternating one by one. So we're going to go all the way down. Make sure it's closed at all at all areas. All areas. And then we're going to start to close now we're going to start to close it up. So right here where, where this water with this water stops, you're going to put a sign right above it. And then you're going to put a sign up here. Right diagonal from that from that sign, they're gonna put a water bucket. Top of that water water, you're gonna put a sign, then another water bucket, then a sign, water bucket, sign, all the way until you get to the top. Hey guys, that was if you want it to be an XP farm, make it only 22 blocks tall. The entire water <clears throat> elevator thing. But if you wanted an item farm or just yeah, an item farm for bones and arrows, for skeletons and rotten flesh and all the rare drops for zombies. You can make it any height above 24. But for armored mobs, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to go back down. So, seal up anything that you have. And then, we're going to put a sign where the water is supposed to stop. Put a wall here so it's for so skeletons can't go anywhere. And now we're gonna. And now we're gonna uh, dig down 22 blocks. So this counts as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, you can make a little waiting area around here. But this is where the skeletons are going to fall. 
it could vary for wherever it is for you. And then you're going to place a half slab right here. Right. Right on the bottom block. Hold on, let me... Now you're going to put a half slab under block 22 or at block 22. And then you're going to put a hopper underneath that. Dig out the area a little bit more. And now we're going to put it into the storage system. So grab some chests and get ready. So we're going to have two chests here. On the bottom chest, we're going to have regular drops. And the top chest, other drops, let's just say. You're going to have to put it into the top chest manually. So down in the bottom chest, you're going to have all your bones and arrows. It'd be a good idea to fill in all the slots for bone for all the bones and all the arrows that you want to collect so that all the rare drops such as bows and armor get locked up in this hopper. You just gonna have to remember to make sure to empty out this hopper every once in a while and put it in this chest. So now we're gonna clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna have that there, have that there. The torches are uh, an option. For me, I had some chests over here for extra armor storage and like you can make a you can make this connect to somewhere close to the area where your spawner is. But for right now, I'm going to leave that unfinished. If you put this on hard, if you put this on a difficulty uh, a little bit more, well, anything above peaceful, it will start working. You're going to really rack up the drops. And yeah, that's about it. Now I'm going to go into my other survival world and show you how it works. Okay guys, we're about to enter my hard, my world that's on hard mode as you can see up in the difficulty area. Now we're going to load the world. This is a world where I have a lot of top notch stuff. Some of it, my, some being my design, some being not. This uh, mob farm, this skeleton farm for instance is one of my designs. We're just going to fall down there and check it out. My, my farm is in this middle store this middle thing right here as you can see the skeleton spawner is in there and it will start spawning mobs at any moment right now see it just spawned some skeletons they're gonna go up the water elevator uh, this is just a precaution some of the skeletons will take drowning damage when they go up. I have this extra hopper here just in case some drops came out in front of me. I made this to be an XP farm. See we got all these bows. I threw out all the bad ones which included really broken power one bows. We have all these arrows. I used other bones for my uh... I used the bones for my area up in the Oh, up in on the surface that was from my wood farm. See, just go go ahead down there, kill them, clip the bones, all of the arrows, possibly some bones. I mean, some bows and armor. That's about it. Thanks for watching.